Okay. Hello, little darling. Hello, guys. <laughs> did you do the introduction? No, I didn't. Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> We're here in the kitchen once more. Looking up, but I don't like to no. look at what I'm cutting. Yeah, Dan doesn't talk when he's cutting things. Well, you know, when I'm chopping or something like this, I still need to look. So, it's Friday, and what are you preparing, Chef? I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a Creole snapper, and I'm gonna do some, uh, doing some uh, Creole snapper. I'm also gonna throw some light fish in there. I'm gonna saute it, you know, and then finish it in the oven. I'm gonna julienne up my vegetables, my red and green bell pepper, some tomatoes, some carrots. These are with my Creole seasoning that I got. And I'm gonna mix some, uh, some mixed vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot again, and a little bit of squash in there. Oh. I'm gonna actually simmer, steam this in a, in a vegetable broth, a little broth, two cups of it, to, my, to make my Creole sauce uh, for the fish and the vegetables. Some potatoes, I parboiled those, I'm gonna cut them in half. I'm going to uh, saute them in, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of spice. And then I'm gonna let those bake in the oven until they get nice and firm on the outside, crispy and uh, uh, tender on the inside. I'm gonna julienne up my vegetables. I think I only need a half of a large onion, but we'll see. So you got that, babe? Yeah. Alexandra, you say yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alexandra, you going to say hello? Say hello to everyone. She's wondering what am I talking about. Look, the camera is over there. Say hi. She used to the, uh, the other camera. She's not looking. Say so what? What? She camera? doesn't even I don't see the camera. <laughs> it's right there. That's it. Right there. Yeah. Are you excited for dinner? No? I've already washed these uh, peppers and stuff. Actually, all my vegetables I already pre washed them. The onions and you haven't cut them every day you know that can be an issue I'm just trying to be I want to cut these as thinly as possible I have my work chef knife here it has kind of a bend on it you can see I don't know if you can see that it has that kind of bend at the back that's so it can rock as I cut Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, other chef knives usually have a, just a straight uh, plane. This one is bent. It's made for a lot of cooking. First, you want to always remove the seeds and the rib part. It's not like a hot pepper, but. Do you see that? You see that? She's paying close attention. Oh, really? You know, I better turn this over. I can do two at one time. Mm hmm. about anything I guess. So we're down to our last vegetable which is the uh, for my carrots. I use the carrots for last because as you know unless you have a big old fat carrot, carrots and carrots are gonna, they're gonna take some time. Should have called Chef Bugs Bunny you know, and loan me some carrots. So I want to julienne up all these vegetables and then we're going to saute them in a, 
and the juices left from the uh, saute in the fish to impart some flavor to them. Add a little vegetable stock, like I said, return the fish, and finish it in the oven. Kenny, you have a lot to do. I think she left because I told her not to. <laughs> Okay, so I think, yeah, that's it. Now let's work on our carrot. Just over here. Take off that brown end. Ooh. So I think I'm gonna use two carrots because once I julep this up, it's gonna be enough. Anyway, I think this is an easy meal. It doesn't take that very much time to put it together. You know, you can, of course, you can do your vegetables uh, before, at least no more than the day before. You don't want stuff to dry out. Actually, uh, a recipe that was inspired from uh, living in Jamaica. Okay, that's certainly enough Julian carrots, I believe. When did you change your name? We don't normally <laughs> We don't normally have these type of food on Fridays. No, we don't. We have junk food. Yeah, but you're making. Well, it's Friday. You know, usually people cook fish on Fridays, right? Not really. Mm -hmm. in, in America, they usually cook fish on Fridays. It's like yeah, we eat fish and chips, but I mean. I wanted to make some church, but I'm going to wait till Sunday. <laughs> Remind what? me of a commercial. It used to come on on Saturdays and Fridays on the radio, and it was advertising a uh, a racing car thing event. The ugly spots for me. Yeah, you know I'm going to do it. <laughs> because I, I don't like, you know, potato with the skin on it, so I'm going to. Yeah, well, it's been washed thoroughly. This is piping hot. <laughs> Potatoes down. The uh, cut side down first. So they can kind of get a nice uh, crust on them. I've already seasoned with some salt and pepper and some garlic. And we're going to finish these in the oven. Right. We have in a 50 degree oven those potatoes. And they're only going to need to bake for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Because remember, they're already done. I just want that crust on the uh, on the cut side, right? And the skin's gonna toughen up a little bit. But while I'm letting my skillet heat up, I need to season my fish. Fish inside up, my fillets. As I told you, I was gonna do some white fish as well, so they're a little bit thinner, basically for the kids. <laughs> okay. Put a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, a good amount of our Cajun season. And I'm going to actually pat this in there once I get enough season on everything. Turn it over. I like to use skin in this particular recipe, honey, because uh, it just, to me, it just tastes better. Have some skin. Really? Yeah.
to the same skillet, and this guy will also put the fish back in there, right? The vegetable stock right now, remember I said about two cups. My fish on top, I put it in an oven, and it'll be ready in less than 15 minutes. Put these in the oven for um, about 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> they don't want to lose any flavor. And, uh, and then it should be ready. This finish, here's yeah. our fish. Yeah, Creole snapper. That looks so good. And we have our potatoes. I'm going to show you one of them here before I plate it. See that nice crust on the outside? I'll be on this good. cut side. I like when it's that dark. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I love food with color. I did kind of a vegetable melody. Uh, they normally call this, uh, what is it, Normandy, uh, vegetable Normandy, uh, because besides the cauliflower and the uh, broccoli spears and the uh, carrots, you have a little bit of cut squash in there as well. And of course, I season it the way I can do. <laughs> and here we have the main dish, which is the uh, red snap. I love this. I'm just, I can't that wait to, so to munch good. into this thing, man. This is the fish. You see all the julienne vegetables in there. It's, man, it just looks good. That looks so good. <laughs> and the veg over there. The dish. veg, all the color there, the orange, the green, the white. So I'm going to put this just like that. Just like, like that. Almost looks like uh, steamed fish, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm. that looks so good. Plus, it's a quite healthy meal. Oh, yes, yeah, very healthy. It's a tiny fish. Uh, because you're a tiny person? <laughs> <laughs> no. I want a big fish too. Mm. Now let me take some out. Just like that? Mm -hmm. That looks so good. Do you want more? No, I want some sauce though. I want some more sauce. So I got a spoon. That looks so good. And normally I've been doing oh, some kind of... I would have made it thicker and and just some kind of <laughs> thing there. You want some of this? Yeah. So it seems like Dan and I alone are going to be eating because the kids are downstairs picking up food, so. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> so they're not into this food. Makita was like, what are you guys cooking? Because she saw the fish. Mm -hmm. And I said, Daddy's cooking some type of fish with potato. I'm not sure. She's like, that's it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, you it's know, new to them. I'm trying to they, I'm trying to expand their palate. But we <laughs> do that every day of the week. It's yeah. just because they're not used to that on a Friday, these type of food. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, they're so. used to like, you know, burger done, making burgers, some fried chicken wing and all that excitement. So they, they, they're waiting for Friday actually to come. So they well, I let them down today and I don't <laughs> care. It's like when I was in Jamaica, you know, ice cream, you only get that on Sunday because yeah. your parents don't want to give you a lot of sweets. So you only get that treat on a Friday. Our bird, our our cake. You yeah. get that on oh, my birthday. birthdays. <laughs> so you know, or any, or if you're going to a friend birthday mm -hmm. party, but then I they don't just give you that sugar. With my bad Western ways. <laughs> Dan used to like buy whole cake and like a dozen donuts. I mean, we eat donuts in Jamaica. We love it, but where Dan shop? With all these huge buckets of ice cream, I'm like, Dan, you need to stop. You're not going to hurt these kids. I said, let it stay where... I didn't hurt him. I just gave him bad habits. 
Watch what you eat, you know. For me, I eat and... <laughs> Yeah, but you don't have to fill your, your stomach with shit. No, with no, a lot you of fill sweets. your palate with all these different but flavors. But I love sweets. No, I agree with that. That's the know, thing I'm talking about. Only because I have to pay a dentist bill if something goes wrong with the teeth. Well, your pocket gone burn, but you see, it's not good. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I like for them to just wait like for the weekend because mm -hmm. you're you, you know the whole anticipation you're like excited can't wait for sunday mm -hmm. young's food it, it is junk only food. on only on friday right we Maybe get like kfc food. and all of that but mm -hmm. during the week your parents are not going to buy that in jamaica they yeah. cook every day right. <laughs> so right. yeah but that look hungry yes i am and i was just Ooh, rethinking how i would have presented this i probably that would have put the vegetables on the, in the center of the plate then the fish with the Julian vegetables and, and put the potatoes on a different side. So yeah. you you So I gotta you I dish probably it gotta out any when you I got a C on presentation Why are you you're hard on yourself? Yes I am, I have to be. I'm a professional. Well <laughs> I just you know, I'm about presentation, mm -hmm. but right now I'm hungry. I yeah. have time for that. I, I, so we're going to eat. Mm -hmm. And we have a video to film later. Yeah. So, so speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you. And we'll catch you in our next video, which is Sunday. Oh my gosh, I'm excited because I'm cooking this Sunday. And yes. No, you're going to cook with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> because no, I'm just kidding. I were cooking curry goat. Yeah, oh. It's been a while. Yeah, I yeah. I love curry goat. Happy to do like some fried chicken. Wow, can I make lime, rum and lime fried chicken? Rum and lime? What? Yeah. You? I don't, yeah, okay. I, I'll, I'll, okay, I, 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 I'll okay. do half rum and lime and half regular uh, fried chicken. Okay, that makes sense. Because, right. you know, not everyone may want that. I, I, but that sounds, I don't know, it don't sound appetizing to me. I don't when, when they hit you, when it hits your tongue. The rum and lime. I don't even like rum. Yeah, but when the it hits your tongue, your what? tongue gonna jump out your mouth and slap you and say, what is this? This is good. Yes. <laughs> I only like rum in like our Jamaican Christmas cake. That's the only Yeah, I understand. But it's just a flavor of rum. We well, I'll part. try it. Yeah, I think you should do like half, I said, half, half like you said. Yeah. Excited. Food getting cold. Sorry. Okay, catch you guys in a bit. We love and appreciate you. Don't forget to remember to go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Yes, and hit that notification bell. Yeah, that would be deeply appreciated. We love you and we catch you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. bye, -bye.